We chose to go and get a uh, Max Air Fan, which is totally awesome. And we're going to put this in the bedroom right above our bed. And the reason we chose to do that instead of getting like a, a dual head or um, a second AC is that our air conditioning will run on the sun. Our solar system will be big enough to run that. But during the day, during the day, we can run it on solar. But at night, um, nobody's air conditioning will run all night unless you just have an enormous battery bank. So we're going to put this in the bedroom. And since you generally the temperatures are cool at night, this will do an adequate job of cooling the uh, bedroom. It's kind of a, a cool compromise and will keep us cool while we're sleeping. And uh, don't forget, we bought the one where it can blow air in mm -hmm. or blow air out. How do you say that? Yeah, it'll exhaust or input air. <laughs> it sucks and blows, okay? I made this template out of cardboard on the table saw, so it's 14 inches. So we could put it here, here, or there. Okay, just in between the ribs. And I think I th it fit here fine. Like, I thought it wouldn't, but it would fit here. But see right here, we have this uh, light yeah. from the old thing. So I think we should cover that and cut that out. And not use that light? Because then we'd have to put it over here. I think it should be over the center of the bed more. Instead of putting it... We could put it there and that would be fine too. Or the other. Actually, we should put it there so you don't have to climb on the bed to turn it on. That's an idea. Oh, this is the front. This is towards the front of the bus. And this is towards the back yes. of the bus. Yes, so it's got this symmetrical. Okay, okay, gotcha. So then, that means the controls would be right here. Okay. Instead of or, over here, it's better here. Definitely. Agree. Really? Absolutely. It's going to wash straight down and go right across us. Okay, whatever you think. We've got the more expensive one with the remote control, then we could use that. How much more expensive was it? Another $100. Oh, see, that's a lot. That's not like $30 difference. Uh, oh, we're going to cut in here first and then put it up there so it's exactly where we want it? Yes. Oh, yes, I can't okay. make that. Right. It needs to go about here. Because it's got a flange on it and I don't want it to run into that. All right, we got to drill size hole in this thing times and then jigsaw with a middle cutting blade. Get jiggy with it. me with metal spray hot metal spray it was too i was getting it full bore everywhere oh well, that's nice it cut the it cut a lot of the insulation oh for me. beautiful there's scissors out here if you need to cut a little more or a razor knife yeah the jigsaw did a much better job than the razor knife it did <laughs> straight up and down to you um it's kind of angled because you're going with the curve of the bus okay that looks a little <laughs> cotton candy <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 
big cotton candy. All right, there's our corner marks. Hello. Air conditioning rules. I know. And it's kind of fun watching that number just keep going down and down and down. As it cools off in here. It'll drop to 20 degrees. Okay, we gotta get on the roof now. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Just unplugged the whole bus. Ladder mania. Plug that back in. For sure. Power up. Wonder Twins, activate. Form of a school bus. Form of a ladder. Time to put our balls to the wall and help those kids. Wonder Twin powers, activate. Shape up an ego. Form of water. Perfect. Did a good job. Whoa. Whoa. I was trying not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a surprise every time. Right? the flange. Okie dokie. We gotta bring the beetle tape and all that good stuff. Okay. I'll just be working on my tan. I just need the butyl tape. All right, let's just make some marks here so we know where the butyl tape's gonna go. Okay. You're like a butyl tape pro now, you just get it on there all super fast. <laughs> I've done it a few times now. To say the least. Next thing we gotta do. We gotta drill some pilot holes. Kind of important that we we don't want this thing to move if we're drilling pilot holes. So if you drill a two pilot holes and then put your screws in, the rest of them won't move.
there's just like four of those screws, two on each side? Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go inside now. Okay. What? Well, I'm trying to figure out where's the remote, where's the instructions? Do they come down with this? Maybe it blew down. Let me go look around the bus. Oh, it's down here. It blew down. All right. So this is an interesting, weird part. We have to figure out how to get power to it now. This sounds like a job for Super Mike. Oh no, this is a suck. Cause I can't, I don't even know. Cause we nailed all this stuff up. And it goes behind the closet. Maybe we should have made it end at the closet in case we ever needed to remove it. You could always take your wonder tool and cut it and then remove this panel and put it back on. No. No? Because I'm going to wallpaper it anyway. Okay, you want to be behind this thing here? Um, Stick okay, one of these now. ends to it and bend it over. Okay. Don't let that end come over here. Yeah, I'm holding on to it. That's weird. That's our wire. That's the wires of the Max fan. And the colors. So, the colors are backwards. Don't match. <laughs> Ow. Red is positive, generally. And uh, in this case, it's not. But that's okay. Maybe one of these things is not like the other. Someone's got a comment. You can't use wire nuts in automotive because it's going to pop off. And I'm going to say, I will tag you in a post in about 70 years when that thing comes off. Okay. So that it goes up in here. All special. Like that. And then what we mark it to see. Well, that's not where you cut it. No, that's not where you cut it. We have, we have to measure up. Just figure it out. Yeah. Well, if you mark it right there, that tells you how much it needs to go up, and then that gives you the measurement for there. That's very, very true. Want me to hold that? Hold that there for a second. That was very smart, honey. Very, very smart. I learned from the best. Nice. Bigger than I thought. What are you going to cut this with? Probably the jigsaw. Oh. You should know that about a jigsaw that you could like cut wood or cut metal or cut whatever just by changing the blade or whatever. Yeah. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Pull tape. Okay? Oh, I'm having a bad wave of nausea. I could tell right away. I saw you. You okay, my home? Yeah. Went in. This was the easiest install I think we've done. Boom. And wow. That was it easy. It really looks great. <laughs> All right, now let's hook it up to power. We're tapping this one. What do you mean by that? 
more tapping the wine. Oh. Okay, so you snap that in there like that. And then you stick this. Yep, I saw the fan budge. You got the power. You got the power! Turn it on. I can't see what's the on button. Oh, it's sucking here right now. It's already completely done? That seems so quick and so easy. So you turn it on, oh, in, out. How do you open the thing? Oh, you have to pull open the thingy with this. You pull it down, then twist it. Ah, I can feel it. Ah, nice. That's pretty cool. Off, back down, and what? Then you push it back up, like to lock it. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Nice work.
Okay. So now we uncover our butyl tape, which will take us 45 minutes. Right, to get all that paper off. You can help if you want to. Let me just get in there with you. It's going to be all badass. Wrong! Oh, I just got dizzy. <laughs> Need something under my knees, like that piece of cardboard. No comments from the peanut gallery.